Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Pokemon's video. And today we're going to talk about the new anniversary Raihan uh, and Flygon that's going to drop later today, which as usual will be summoning on live, so make sure I'll tune into that, I guess. Um, and so, anniversary Raihan and Flygon uh, should be the last anniversary unit uh, for the 2 5 year anniversary in the first part of the anniversary, obviously. It's going to be a second part of this anniversary, right? Uh, so, let's, let's just go over this unit, right? So... Uh, so first of all, if you look at his stats, very, very fast. This guy's incredibly fast. A uh, special attack attack isn't that great, but you don't have to worry too much because you do have, um, where is it? Weather buff over here, which buffs all your stats by 30%. Oh, minus HP. When there's weather conditions. So all these get buffed by 30%, which is a lot, right? It's definitely a lot. Uh, especially that speed. That speed's going crazy, right? Um, after some other stuff, you basically, he's kind of like... Holly Skyla and uh, Classic Elisa. More like Classic Elisa than Holly Skyla, right? Your moves are not going to do damage. This is not going to do any damage. This is not going to do any damage, right? And then you have Sandstorm over here to set weather. What Raihan basically is here to do is to set weather and then give your team this stuff, right? Physical move up next, special move up next, right? When you use status move, which in this case is, well, Sandstorm. That's the only one, right? Uh, uh, yeah, when your Pokemon use status move. That's the only one. So every time you use Sandstorm, you get your whole team physical move up and special move up next. So that's really, really nice because it is guaranteed for one, right? And then your chain move over here also gives super effective up next to your whole team as well. So you're actually, you're a tech unit, but you do a lot of supporting things, right? Which are very, very good, right? Uh, buffs your special attack by four and crit by two. It's okay, I guess. But yeah, it's mainly, this stuff is really, really good when there's weather, right? So, anyways, um, yeah, uh, that aside, I have move acceleration and weather. So, they're basically mostly a weather setter, right? You set two types of weathers. One is sandstorm, one is sun over here with a max flare. Uh, this gives damage guard, which is kind of, yeah, I mean, it could be clutch maybe. And max worm wind lowers the attack of all opposing sync pairs by two stat ranks. Uh, this one's not that great. Um, generally, I mean, in some places, obviously, you could use it, but uh, this one's more for dealing damage. You could do a decent amount of damage in Dragon Zone. Uh, your sync move is very, very, very powerful, right? Um, and it's really easy to set up as well. Just is there, if there's weather, you get the innate buff. Um, moving on, uh, let's talk about, I guess, some stuff that you have in the grid, right? So at 105, you really don't have too much. You have like sand shelter, which is nice, I guess. We don't want to take the sandstorm damage, which I generally don't really care about taking. I mean, I'll just take it, whatever, right? Uh, just because there's usually better stuff in the grid, but at 1 to 5, there's, there isn't, right? Uh, I mean, um, what else do we have here? Um, at 2 out of 5, you really don't have too much either. You have, like, a Twister aggravation, which is cool, maybe. You have MP Refresh on your move, which is nice. You have MP Refresh on your Sandstorm, right? So I do think the the 2 out of 5 is actually not bad, right? Uh, you also have Mind Ball, your 9, right? So you get consistent special defense debuffs for, you know, on the opponents. Your team, which is nice. Uh, this I don't care about. What is the sharp entry? Sharp entry is kind of whatever either. Um, for for him specifically, because you you still need like a support to max out your special attack anyways. Oh, this, again, you get the MP refresh on your uh, trainer move, which you should try to get because it not only does max out your own stats, but also gives again um uh uh, uh, uh super effective up next for your whole team, All right? So, if you do want to pull for him, I think his 1 out of 5, 2 out of 5, and 3 out of 5 all are pretty good. 1 out of 5 is just the very, very, very basic stuff, right? In terms of, you get those support stuff going, you get Sandstorm, right? You get Sun if you want. And then 2 out of 5 is all that, but like with a chance to refresh, right? Sandstorm, you get a chance to refresh, your train move, get to refresh, and then 3 out of 5 is where you get your sync stuff, right? Your damage stuff. Interference sync 5, weather sync up 5. Uh, and yeah, you have the uh, also solar sync gives you an extra, you know, sun to use if you want, right? Outside of just the max flare. Um, you also have the 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 BP ups for max worm wind, max flare, all that stuff, you want that as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, max team smarts for an extra special move up next for your team as well. Sandler does also increase the duration of Sandstorm, which is very, very, very good as well, right? Um, again, you could definitely use him as a sun uh, setter, although I do think he's generally a bit better. Uh, well, not a bit better. I just I think he's much better as a sandstorm setter, right? But again, you could also do 
stun as well, right? So uh, another great thing about him is even though he does like zero damage on like Twister, Fire Spin, all that stuff, uh, again, it does remind you a bit of like um, uh, Classic Elisa, right? So even though Classic Elisa doesn't do any damage on her moves, but she does give you one pretty powerful max move and then one pretty powerful sync right if you uh you know look at those damage comparisons right this is very very good on the sync obviously and this is very very good uh damage on the your on your max worm wind as well right even though champion Iris does have the higher stat i do personally argue, i do think rahan's sync is better right um just for the fact it is much 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 easier to set up than um champion irises right uh you get this by yourself right you get this by yourself easily right you just literally all you need is just someone to you know max out your uh, special attack and crit which you could also do if you just get an npr on this right uh but it's probably better just to bring a uh, support to max it out but anyways uh yeah this guy does again have very very good um nuke max move damage sets weather gives your uh, team buffs on both um physical special attack up next and uh as well as a uh, super effective up next for your team uh downside is he doesn't do any damage outside of that right uh, I do think he is definitely a very, very nice unit to pull on. Uh, if you're looking for a Sandstorm setter, is he the best one? In terms of just setting Sandstorm, he is the best in the game. Um, because of the fact that he has Sandstorm MPR uh, 3, as well as Sand Alert 5, which does extend Sandstorm. If you're just solely looking at that, he is the best Sandstorm setter in the game. Um, this is just like a factual thing, right? Not even opinion. Uh, but if you're looking at, well, which unit could give you a, a bit more value, I guess it really depends, right? Are you good on supports, generally? Do you have enough offensive supports that could generally, you know, round out a lot of your offensive um, stat buffs on your team? Uh, if not, i definitely say go for Ingo instead, right? Because uh, Ingo obviously is very, very good at that. Uh, but if you do, if you're fine with supports and you just want someone else to, you know, Get, uh, give you either a bit more of a punch, right, and just makes you make your existing teams much much better. I would say that would be the existing already complete teams, by the way, right? Much better. I would say Raihan is 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 that right? Um, but again, Ingo is more well rounded in terms of just rounding out teams that aren't very powerful at the moment. Raihan's just for the overkill. Let's be real, right? You're here to look at the cool screenshots that you get of the big damage numbers that you throw in, uh, you know, with your teams. Because again, you get both, uh, you know, physical special up and super effective up next, which could result in massive, 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 big screenshot numbers, right? Uh, he's definitely the screenshot unit, uh, although I do think Ingo is a bit more solid overall, right? Uh, so there's that, I guess. Right, uh, again, do keep in mind, there's also the other two anniversary units up at the moment. So, like, unless you really, really, really like Raihan and, and, and Flygon, um, which, you know, again, if it's your favorite, go for it, right? But uh, uh, just a reminder to take a look at the other two as well. Uh, I think there's a paid Ingo banner coming out in a few days as well, so do keep in mind about that, right, too. And also, if you're looking for Dragon-type damage there, yeah, Raihan Flygon could do that every three turns plus once with the max move. Uh, but as some rumors slash allegations suggest, there is a um, potentially a much, 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 much more powerful dragon type damage dealer coming in the uh, very, very, very near future, uh, which we're not going to talk about uh, because we can't really, <laughs> unfortunately. But, anyways. Um, that aside, uh, Ryan Flagon, very, very nice unit, I think, uh, but I do think it's more of an overkill unit rather than a, I need help right now to make my, um, you know, just to clear stages, right? He's not a, a uh, don't get me wrong, he can definitely clear you stages, but, uh, I'd say for a Sandstorm setter, right, uh, Ingo's the more reliable run one, while well, he's the, uh, I want to have some fun with my units. I want to have some fun. He's the, he's definitely the more fun unit. He's definitely more fun than Ingo, by far. He's very, very he's gonna be very, very fun. But again, if you want someone steady, clear your stages for Sandstorm, right? There's you know another unit they could probably go for. So, anyways, 
Uh, that's for this one. I guess hope you all enjoyed it, guys. Link in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, or channel for some more Pokemon Master content. I'll be streaming this summons live at reset, so make sure I'll do that as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next one.